up babes welcome back to my channel my name is maya this is your very first time here so today y'all we are going to be doing another solo date vlog y'all know i go on these every week and we're gonna go and grab us some lunch today today we're gonna be talking about raising your standards and not settling for less why it's important my personal view on the topic and just have a little girl chat today's video is made in partnership with beauty pie so thank you to them for sponsoring today's solo date vloggy vlog <laughs> if you have not yet please make sure that you hit subscribe below and let's hop into it so y'all know we always do this vlog style. I'm about to do a little bit of pampering first before we hop into the makeup and get ready and start our girl chat. I'm gonna show you guys some of these amazing luxury products from Beauty Pie. So babe, if you guys don't know what Beauty Pie is, it is the first ever membership club for beauty lovers. And y'all know we some beauty lovers over here. <laughs> <laughs> Basically with Beauty Pie, you can shop luxury products, beauty products, skincare, makeup, body care, fragrance, all without paying that middle retailer price. You literally get 75% off of that traditional retail price, which is really, really dope, but you get that same luxury feel. The first product I'm gonna be using today from Beauty Pie is their Super Healthy Skin Deluxe Body Moisture Cream. And as you can see, it's super, super soft and luxurious. Y'all know on my solo date vlogs, I like to pamper myself and really take care of myself before I go out. And it does contain shea butters. Ooh, child, I was ashy. <laughs> But an annual membership from Beauty Pie is only $59. And it's not like other services where you're kind of blind to what they're sending you. With Beauty Pie, you actually can choose what it is that you want. And the makeup itself is luxury makeup. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the mood like we usually do. The candle that we have today is also from Beauty Pie. So I'm gonna go ahead and I light a candle, set the mood, set the vibe. So y'all know I'm all about, you know, taking care of yourself, making sure we're pampering ourselves. And today, um, it's perfect because we are talking about standards before anything else I feel like we should have standards for ourselves, for our person you know what I'm saying and we're gonna talk about that a smidge in a minute but <laughs> but I feel like having a beauty pie membership is perfect for that type of you know self-care self-love for my beauty lovers for the eyes I'm gonna be using the plush your luxe palette and this is a nine pan palette beautiful beautiful shades I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade hush brown up here in the corner I'm gonna go ahead and work that into my creases because I'm kind of just looking for like a light shadow. Nothing too, too crazy since we are kind of going out on a day date today. <laughs> but y'all you know, I always really like to blend a deeper shade into my crease. Then I'm going into this middle shade and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lid with a flat brush just so we can kind of get like a matte crease type of vibe these shadows are easy to blend i feel like that's something that you only see in very like high-end luxury types of makeup so we're going for just a very natural new type of vibe today especially since i kind of ain't figured out what exactly i'm wearing so <laughs> We gotta just do something that's gonna match everything. For the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna be going into the Wonder Color Longwear Cream Eyeshadow, which is very similar to a couple of the luxury products that I have in my stash. So essentially, I'm just using this as an inner corner type of highlight. And then I'm gonna take a brush just to blend it out, make sure it's not harsh, I don't have any lines of demarcation. To finish off the eye, I'm gonna take the Ultra Color Pro Gel Eyeliner from Beauty Pie. And I'm using this in brown today because I don't want my eyes to be super duper like, what's the word, intense and heavy. I want them to be more of a softer vibe. So the eyes are done. I am loving them. They're nice and neutral like I would want them to be, especially since I don't know what I'm wearing, like I said. <laughs> we are gonna continue to use some of my Beauty Pie favorites throughout the rest of the makeup tutorial. <laughs> but in a nutshell, Beauty Pie is pretty much like Netflix, but for beauty and wellness, you know? <laughs> and it's not a subscription service. It is not a, you know, pay monthly, they send you whatever they choose. It's a membership to where you get 75% off of luxury items and you can pick whatever you want whenever you want and in the description box i will have a link for you guys to join beauty pie today and you can use my discount code to get a little uh, get a little money off <laughs> all right y'all let's get into this chat y'all i feel like having a conversation about standards and why you should raise them is super important when you are someone who's going on solo dates paying attention to yourself trying to reinvent yourself trying to you know become a better woman we gotta talk about these standards, okay? <laughs> and while the whole video is not gonna be about men, <laughs> we gonna talk about it. <laughs> because I hate to 
first of all I'm not perfect y'all know that but I hate to see women out here who are beautiful and loving on themselves and all this stuff do all this work just to be stuck in dead in relationships or accepting anything from anybody and we can talk about men family friendships work um your surroundings you know just anything them standards needs to be hitting the sky okay i just heard a saying on a movie the other day that said if you aim for nothing you hit nothing and that is extremely true if you don't have standards then it is way more easy for you to just accept anything and that is not okay because that has a ripple effect in our lives when you have higher standards i feel like it definitely shows that you value yourself more and it shows others as well as yourself that you just not willing to accept whatever that they have for you. Everything's not going to fly, you know? And I feel like it takes some real like self-reflection initially to figure out what are your standards? What is a deal breaker for you? What is a non-negotiable for you and your relationships and your work relationships? What are you not gonna take? Cause if you don't know, <laughs> <laughs> then you're gonna be more likely to take whatever is thrown your direction so so first we're gonna talk about relationship standards I'm gonna talk about you know some of my experience and how I was able to raise my standards and what made me change my standards we gotta remember the fact that people are gonna treat you the way that you allow them to treat you and they're gonna keep doing it especially if it's in their benefit let's do a little mini story time real quick so my ex <laughs> We were a living couple. He did live with me. Back then, I did not have very high standards. And this and this man did not pay no bills in my house. Now, part of this is his fault and part of it, a big part of it is my fault for allowing this to happen. Um, and mind you, we were together for almost four years and this was some years ago. I've officially been single for two years. <laughs> but number one, that was not, a standard that I set for myself. I didn't, you know, if you're gonna be living in my house, which now I'm against living together. <laughs> but um, if you're gonna be living in my house, you have got to pay half the bills or all of the bills. Like that was not a standard that I had for myself. So I accepted that and I allowed him to say whatever he wanted to say to me. Well, you the one who want me here. So why should I have to pay? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all, that's what he said. This, this is a true story. He even went so far as to start to feel entitled to not clean up, to not, you know, like go with my rules of my house and stuff like that. And I allowed that, you know, it was an issue. We had lots of arguments and stuff like that. But the point is the dude didn't leave because I didn't make him leave because I didn't have that standard for myself. So I say that to say, it's important to really like decide what is my standard? What am I gonna allow? What am I not going to allow? Cause it will allow me to make, you know, better decisions as far as who I'm choosing, as far as what I'm allowing in my space, in my home, around my child. It just has a huge ripple effect. I'm not dating right now, but when we're talking about standards and relationships, y'all, my standards are high. Personally, because I have grown to the place where I know what I'm worth, I know who I am, and I know what I deserve. So I don't accept anything less than that. You know, I give dudes about a month and that's it. Only because for me, especially since I'm connected with my Lord and he gives me that discernment to be able to tell if someone's for me or not, or if it's that, you know, if I'm supposed to be there or not, that's all the time I need to know if you are for me, if I'm for you. And I do not let things slide. One of my male friends has told me like, do you think maybe you're just too picky or you're just too, you know, rigid with my rules or standards? And I totally disagree. No, I'm not. <laughs> because I will stop talking to someone because they are not giving me the basics. So I have basic standards. Like you need to be listening to me and while I'm talking. <laughs> But then I also have other standards. If we start talking and everything is cool, except you're not a Christian, peace. Like we don't have nothing else to talk about because that is a standard that I've set for myself that I am not going to blend my life with someone who is an unbeliever. Like that's just me. At this point in my life, if you are unable to accept the fact that I'm waiting till marriage to have sex, then this ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say again, this is my personal experience and my personal standards. 
by no means am I saying that this should be someone else's standards, but I'm just sharing my take on it. I have definitely developed a good set of standards that's going to protect me, it's going to protect my daughter, it's gonna protect the future that I want for me, for Maya, for myself. And it's just non-negotiable, period. And that's that. I personally don't allow myself to accept my deal breakers in people just because of other reasons, just because they're a Christian or just because they fine, you know, like, I will not allow that because I know what I'm worth and I know what I want for my life. And I'm not just about to ignore that because other things are in place. That was a situation that I had with my ex to the point where it was like, yeah, he's this great guy, he's a gentleman, he has a great relationship with my daughter, that's all great, but I didn't feel loved. I didn't feel as important, I wasn't getting what I needed. And yes, while other things are great, I had to look at myself and say, what this man is doing is not making me happy and this is going to become a precedent going forward. This is gonna be my standard. Um, and I had to leave that relationship. It wasn't a standard for me when I first got the man, but it sure was after he was gone. <laughs> so sometimes you do need situations to help you to know you know, how to get out and what your standards should be. Another thing that I feel like is really important when you are talking about raising or wanting to raise your standards is the fact that you should be the standard. <laughs> we hold these high standards to people, to friends, to family, to um, significant others. And sometimes we're not giving what we expect from someone else. Especially if you're on the journey to, you know, self-reflect, to become a better woman, to become a better person. You gotta work on becoming the standard. This is something that I am doing, especially, you know, with me wanting to get married and thinking about dating and everything like that. I have all these standards for what I want my man to be, how I want him to treat me, how I want him to look, how I want certain aspects of, of our relationship to be like based on him, his personality and who he is. I have to be the reflection of that, which I'm aware takes, you know, daily work and intentionality and figuring out me and becoming a better me in the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this super cheek blush from Beauty Pie and this is in French Raspberry. And I'm gonna dip this lightly with a brush and start to kind of work this onto my cheeks for like a flush of some color. And y'all see how easily it applies to the face. It kind of also gives you just that glow from within blush look versus just like a powder blush. That's what I love about cream blush. It tends to look more like skin than the powder blush does. I'm gonna add a smidge over my nose for a flushed vibe <laughs> so i also make sure that i have my standards high when it comes to my friend group as well um if you guys know i only hang out with a few girls from high school just because i'm a very protective of who i allow in my space um and to you know occupy my time and it's totally okay to have high standards when it comes to your friends you don't have to hang out with everybody yeah people gonna call you fake <laughs> had that happen to me people gonna say you know who she thinks she is from my personal experience you have to be okay with the fact that people are not going to like you know you having standards. And I'm about to add this Pro Glow Highlighter Illuminating Powder from Beauty Pie, and this is in Knockout Gold. That definitely is a thing when you decide that you're gonna set your standards high, is that you might have to deal with rejection, Lomo. You might have to deal with a delay. Sometimes it might feel very uncomfortable to assert yourself, you know, and to actually be the person that you told <laughs> people you were. Cause we don't want to be delayed. You know, we don't want to not get what we want when we want it. We want it now and we want it when we want it. You know, check out the highlighter. It's popping. <laughs> but I do find that there's so many women that get in the space where they are like, why do I keep attracting this type of man? Why do I always get the men who dot, dot, dot? Or why does this person always feel like they can talk to me like that? These statements, I feel, are wrapped up in our standards. Because like I said, I do feel like people are going to just treat you the way you allow them to treat you. And don't, know, don't mind my nose, y'all. I just got a little mascara on there. Just baking it all. 
<laughs> but and if you keep getting men who do this or men that treat you a certain way yes there's something wrong with them <laughs> but if you keep getting the same type of do every single time and he does the same single thing over and over the common denominator is you and I'm talking about myself because I've been in this situation. This keeps happening because I keep allowing this to happen. What about me and my spirit and my, you know, aura is putting out this type of energy to attract this type of man, you know? And how do I shut off this behavior from my life and push myself to never accept this again? But that's when action comes in and you have to figure out how do I actually have these demands and actually keep them and make them happen for my life. And that's, I feel like when action comes in, which I'm gonna share with y'all once we get in the car, but let's finish getting ready. <laughs> First of the lips, I'm gonna be showing you guys this shade Dusty Rose from Beauty Pie. And this is a lip shine. Oh, it's definitely giving color and moisture, which I really, really love. And that is the lip y'all let's spray the face and let's get dressed so it feels really really good outside today like in st louis it's like 50 degrees today so we're gonna have some leg out and some toes you know don't throw a coat on but you know it's fine <laughs> over the weekend i purchased this dress from h m and i think i want to wear this on my solo date today i might be doing a lot but yeah i think this is really cute so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this on it is a wrap dress but it does have buttons down the front so i'm not gonna lie y'all we doing a lot with this dress but i don't care <laughs> y'all know that i am not a stranger to doing the most and looking like a lot but it's fun <laughs> that's another thing y'all some people will feel differently about this but i personally felt like you should look like your standards you should look like you got some standards <laughs> um i personally believe that the way we dress the way we carry ourselves attracts a certain type of person and since we just got off a conversation of men even if you're married you know just the vibe that you want for your relationship i feel like how you put your person together you know what you wear how you carry yourself shows a lot about your standards and says a lot about you so i personally like to give off wife <laughs> personally because you know that's the part of my life that I'm ready for so I like to give that off in my dress so I love it anyway um I am gonna go ahead and put my watch on you guys know I love to accessorize with my watch which I feel looks super duper classy as well I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave on the studs that I have on right now in a simple gold necklace since the dress is a little bit of a color, it's not black, it is a darker blue, <laughs> and we have a pattern going on, I don't wanna do too much other places. So we're gonna keep everything else super simple. I am going to pair this outfit with my black YSL on chain today, so that is the vibes. I am wearing my favorite fragrance. <laughs> If you watch my vlogs, then you already know what that is. I need some more. I am running out. Let's see. What else do we need? We have fragrance. We have clothes. We have a bag. Shoes. So we're going to go in here and we're going to pop on our shoes because these feet also need a little bit of extra moisture. So I'm going to go ahead back into my <laughs> moisture cream real quick and um, moisturize my feet before I pop them in my shoes. All right, y'all, so we are about ready to go. Let's do a whole outfit check real quick. So this is the vibes, y'all. It's giving very grown and sexy, and I'm loving it. <laughs> this does, like I said, have buttons, and I didn't button it all, all the way, just so we can have a little, little leg action, you know, with the, the outfits, and I'm loving it. <laughs> I love how the tie kind of accentuates the waist, makes the body look good. Let me throw on the coat that I'm gonna wear so I can show you guys that. So I had tried on different coats and I think I'm just gonna go with this one. I feel like this really complement the outfit and really kind of add it to the vibe that we're going for today. All right, y'all, so this is us with everything on. I'm doing the most today, y'all. I am doing the most. But ask me, do I care? No, I don't. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're gonna head out of here so we can keep talking in the car while we are on our way to our solo date. It's cold outside, so once it's not as cold, we're gonna do some other things on our solo dates. It's not always going to be us, you know, going out to eat, even though that's what it's looking like right now. <laughs> we are gonna do some different things in the future, so just hold on, because we are doing a solo date every month. 
before we get there I kind of just wanted to talk about how to actually keep your standards because I am definitely a person who has had moments of like having standards set for myself and then completely like not showing up for myself with those standards. Usually that happens when I am not strong in that standard. I don't see how important it is to me, the reason that I'm doing it, why it matters. Once I realize that, it helps me to be stronger. Like with me deciding that I didn't want to have sex before marriage, um, anymore. The initial thought is yes, this is what I want to do. I'm a Christian, you know, woo, 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 not that strong in my Christian walk, you know, it's just an idea. Um, and then once the dude came along or I had an opportunity where it presented itself, I would fail, you know, because I wasn't very strong as a Christian. I didn't really understand why I had this standard, you know, um, and I hadn't had time to also practice doing it or not doing it for this case. <laughs> <laughs> so once I got stronger in that, I poured into myself, I learned more of my worth, I understand why I wanted to do that, it became easier for me to actually keep that standard for myself. So the main tips that I would give as far as, you know, what action can you do to keep those higher standards is to find the root of the standard. Why does it matter to you? What does it mean? And then also to look at, you know, what would life look like if you don't keep up that standard, what that whatever that standard has to do with, you know, relationship wise, what would it look like if you did not keep that up? And would you be happy with yourself? Especially like when we're talking about men, it started to be easier for me to know what my standards were because I can see the dudes that, that were coming against mine. And that's not the type of relationship I want to be in. That's not the type of people I want to associate myself with. Another thing for me, um, for my personal standards is I like to plan you know, to make sure that I am able to keep my standards. So let's say you're dating and, and we're bringing up dating a lot because I feel like it's one of the easiest things to talk about when you're talking about raising your standards and keeping your standards. So if I'm dating someone and I have a standard of, I don't want to, you know, sleep with this person on the first date, um, in order for that not to happen, you gotta not be, you know, all up on each other. You gotta not be in alone places for that to easily happen, you know? So you have to plan and be strong in those plans to make sure that you can keep your standards because sometimes we're not strong enough and I feel like in that kind of situation you gotta think ahead and you gotta realize how important that thing is to you to protect. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was like raising your personal standards so this doesn't necessarily have to do with men that's more to do with I feel like my own person and who I am as a woman. I have definitely been intentional about raising my own personal standards for myself. And you guys are already aware of this when it comes to just who I am, how I carry myself, how I present myself to the world, all of that jazz. But also even just on a deeper level, like I've mentioned other times in this video, I am a Christian woman. So for that reason, I have a standard for myself to guard my gates. You know, I watch what comes out of my mouth. I watch what I listen to. I watch what I watch. I have a standard for what is allowed to enter into my spirit and my surroundings and around my daughter and that stuff is real. And that's my own personal standard. So it's a question of what is important to you and how do you want to change yourself to have a higher standard or a higher bar set for yourself and how you live your life. I have that standard for myself, cleanliness and you know hygiene wise, as well as just my surroundings. My home, I don't let it look any type of way. That's a standard for me. If I go to a hotel and the sheet is dirty, that's a standard for me. I'm not about to just lay down in it, you know? I feel like that is another way to look at our standards for ourselves. We can have standards in every part of life. Even just the fact that I try to keep my hair done. I ain't even gonna say that. Y'all know I'm gonna keep my hair done all the time. But I try to look presentable out in public <laughs> and just keeping my nails done. All of that is my own personal standard for Maya for my life. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it driving. We are almost there and we're gonna go in and get us some food. All right, y'all, we are here. This is actually the same hotel where um, I brought Amira for Women's Day last week. So I really love the restaurant in here. So that's where we are going. Mm. 
All right, y'all. So since we're in the restaurant, there's music playing. I'm going to go ahead and do a voiceover for this part. <laughs> but lastly, I just want to talk about self-worth and how it kind of feeds into your standards. Like you can have standards all day, but if you don't feel like you're worth keeping them up or worth enforcing them, then you're going to lose. And there's a lot of reasons why, you know, we would break our standards. And that's pretty much because maybe you're used to old standards. Like for me, sometimes I'm used to, you know, my old ways or what I used to accept. You don't want to wait or be delayed. Like if I did not stand on my standards, I would be married to my ex and I'd be miserable, but I wouldn't have had a delay on marriage. But marriage means more to me than just having a ring on my finger, you know? That's what I mean by delayed. Or it's possible that you just don't have a why, which could be a reason why you break your standards. For me, learning myself was super important for my standards to hold true for me. And once you know better, you do better. And if you aim higher, then you'll hit higher than if you had aimed at nothing. <laughs> Let's hope you hit the mark exactly. But, you know, we got to have a purpose and a reason to aim higher. And if you believe you're worth it, it's going to be so much easier. So thank you guys for watching today's solo day vlog. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.